I want to transition to a developing story that was kind of shocking. It's almost like a bombshell that was dropped yesterday in the NFL. Ex Miami Dolphins head coach Brian Flores is suing the NFL. He's suing the Dolphins, the Giants, and the Broncos, alleging some racism in the hiring practices between those three teams and between the entire league as a whole. So Brian Flores said that he hopes that this, that this lawsuit will enact some change in the NFL. He said, quote, I understand that I may be risking coaching the game that I love. As part of the evidence, he has highlighted messages from Bill Belichick that was mistakenly a text message that was mistakenly sent to him as opposed to Brian Dable, who got the Giants job saying from Belichick that it seemed like a done deal that he had, he being Brian Dable, had already landed the Giants head coaching job when at the time it was reported that Flores was slated to get an interview. So they had all, so basically the Giants had already made their decision before interviewing Brian Flores is what he's claiming. And that's what the texts are corroborating. Flores said that the Broncos executives, they showed up late and quote unquote disheveled in 2019 that they had gone out drinking late the night before and had come to the meeting hungover is what they claimed. And this is, these are just snippets and little vignettes of a 58 page lawsuit. Now, we know that this is a pervasive issue that has been perpetually plaguing the NFL ever since its inception. And the NFL tried to implement the Rooney Rule to combat this and to try and even the playing field. Unfortunately, it hasn't done that. All it's done is it's granted more minorities interviews, but it hasn't necessarily granted them job opportunities. Now, they try to enhance the Rooney Rule as of, I believe, May or June of 2020, so two years ago, to try to further incentivize these teams uh, in, in hiring minorities. So not only would you would you have to interview at least two minorities for a head coaching position, but also one for an executive position, but you would receive compensatory draft picks. So now the NFL is starting to throw in additional capital as a means to incentivize, and clearly that isn't doing the job either. Now, as of right now, these are all claims. These are all allegations on the part of Brian Flores. All these teams, these the, the NFL, the teams, all these – Individuals singled out will have their opportunities to defend their, themselves, will have their opportunities to present their claims, to deny these claims. So a resolution will come about one way or another at some point. But let me just say this. I think that Brian Flores is a damn good football coach. I never thought he should have been fired by the Miami Dolphins, and not to mention, it also came out that the Dolphins owner, Stephen Ross, was actually encouraging Brian Flores, again, according to this lawsuit, to lose games, that he was going to offer $100,000 in 2019 per game that they lost to increase their draft stock and their draft order. So when I, when I remember seeing the notification about Brian Flores being canned by the Dolphins, the first thoughts that came to mind to me was, wow, this guy in three seasons with the Dolphins has turned around the, the franchise. Not to mention he, he went 24 and 25 in three seasons, but he posted back-to-back -back winning seasons for the first time in the franchise's last 19 years, since 2003, he wanted to draft Justin Herbert. Stephen Ross wanted to draft Tua. And given the fact that he'd been in the same division as, <clears throat> as Bill Belichick and Josh Allen, he'd be facing them four times a year. I thought he was doing a really marvelous job. 
I think that there was going to be an inherent ceiling in how much he could achieve in Miami. But the fact of the matter is he spent eight seasons prior to that coaching up the defense with the Patriots, and we know how beloved staff and ex-coaches are from that organization, from that Bill Belichick tree, how many opportunities, the ample opportunities they get everywhere else they go. So to me, I always thought that that Brian Flores was a great coach. And if there is any credence and any validity to this whatsoever, and if in fact there have been that, 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 that these incentives, that these requests, that these lack of opportunities truly are going to come to the forefront, well, then it's further going to expose the, the racial injustice that exists in the NFL. But more, more importantly, it's going to expose the true intentions and beliefs of the owners of the NFL. And if he truly was essentially forced out of a head coaching position and then essentially blackballed from landing another one, well, then some serious changes need to come about because that's obviously not fair, but more importantly, it's appalling. It really is appalling to me. And I understand that offensive head coaches are prioritized now. Offensive coordinators are more coveted in the NFL. And to be honest, I probably agree and, and would head in the direction of an offensive coordinator or, or an offensive minded head coach to be the next leader of my team if I was a GM. But at the same time, I do think that there is a lot of value that he brings to the table as a head coach. And right now it's an indictment, not against the NFL because the NFL is trying to enact changes. It's an indictment against the NFL owners because at the end of the day, they are the ones who control the destiny of these coaches. Right now, they kind of have Roger Goodell on a leash. Roger Goodell doesn't, doesn't supervise and oversee the owners. He tries to cater to them, but the owners are the ones with all the power, all the, all the autonomy to kind of make these decisions. So. I think that it would be grounds, however, for the NFL if this if this lawsuit ends up ends up actually having some some merit to it, and these teams and these specific individuals they are found guilty of this, well, some serious changes are going to need to happen. They're absolutely going to need to happen, uh, and the NFL would have to intervene. No question about it. Now, obviously, the Saints and the Texans and the Vikings, those are still potential openings. Looks like the Vikings are leaning towards Jim Harbaugh. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But the Saints and the Texans are technically still destinations for him. We'll see if that is something he wants to do or if he's even, or if he's even granted an opportunity. I know that he had recently interviewed with the New Orleans Saints not too long ago. So, Perhaps that's at play, but regardless, this was just a disturbing story to hear. And clearly he kept receipts. Clearly he was, Brian Flores was waiting if and when it seemed appropriate to actually step forward and file this lawsuit. Perhaps he was waiting to see if he would still have his job, to see if he would land another head coaching job immediately. Clearly that hasn't happened. And so he feels like these are the necessary next steps. So this is a developing story. We'll see how it continues to progress. And again, if, if, if further additional potentially damning information comes out of this lawsuit, these individuals,